Hey everybody, welcome back to another Creative tutorial. Today we're going to go over one of the Creative 5 updates, which is the eraser update, which I am personally very excited for because if you've ever seen me draw, I struggle to actually make sure I'm on the eraser tool or I'm off of it, depending on what I'm doing, and I either draw and scribble over a spot when I need to erase it, or I erase something that I am trying to fill in with my brush. <laughs> so. Krita has now implemented a feature where you can change the icon so you can kind of be notified of when you activate the eraser tool. So to get this all set up, we want to go to configure Krita under settings. And you want to go to general. So under general, we have the brush cursor icon, which we can change and do all that fun stuff for. And right underneath that, we have the use separate settings for eraser. So if you don't want this to be for the eraser because it looks the same, you can actually change it now. So first we're gonna look at the eraser icon, the cursor icon. You have a bunch of different options here. You can have no cursor, tool, arrow, small circle, all that stuff. I'm gonna um, show you that in a screenshot because there's so many and it doesn't really make sense to like keep opening the settings and showing you that. I went through all of these and I really like that they have a left-handed option. So if you're a left-handed artist, this will kind of be more comforting to you, I think. Um, and I tried it out, you know, I'm not ambidextrous or anything, but I can kind of use my left hand and it, it just, it kind of felt natural. I don't know, it just looked nice. I liked it. So anyway, we'll go, I'll show you a screenshot of that now. Okay, so on to the outline shape. So this is where it gets a little weird. It took a, mo a minute for me to kind of figure out what was happening. So first of all, I'm going to leave it at, what was it, preview? We're actually going to turn this off for a second and hit OK. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So right now my brush is activated. I'm going to hit the eraser key. So I'm going to make this actually bigger. With my brush, there's no difference between hitting the eraser key and the brush key. It looks the same. So when we go back to configure Krita and we go to change the outline shape, we have a no outline, a circle outline preview and tilt. So no outline is gonna look like this. So right now I have the other default to have the eraser icon to signify to me that I have the eraser mode activated, but there's no outline of the actual brush. So that circle that we had before is gone. That would be the outline. So if you don't like that, we can go back to the eraser shape outline and do a circle outline. So the circle outline, it's going to give you an approximate size of the brush. So when I do this and I start erasing and the pen sensitivity kicks in, it's not going to be like super accurate to the size of the pressure sensitivity. And then when we go to settings configure Krita again, and we go, oh, well, I want an actual preview of what I'm erasing and everything else, we can go to preview outline. And this will be an accurate representation of the size of your brush or the shape of your brush. Let me see if I have. So the outline for your eraser is gonna stay the same as the brush. So you can see that that's the outline of whatever it is that um, you're gonna be erasing. And as you can see, when I go to change the size of the brush, it's a pretty smooth transition. It's showing me the very accurate representation of the size of the brush in the preview. So we're going to go back to configure Krita to change it to the next one. So the tilt outline. So the tilt outline at first, well first before I do that, as you can see, we went to the tilt outline and even though I have a um, unique brush pattern selected for this, the outline is just like an oval. It's just like a rough approximation of the shape of the eraser tool. I'm actually going to go back to my normal one. So I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to actually get my tablet for this because otherwise you won't be able to see it right. All right. So immediately when I activated my pen, you can see there's like this little arrow that's going crazy around the cursor. This is the tilt mode. So when I tilt my pen brush, that 
triangle is showing me where that pen's being tilted. So you can see it's going to the upper left hand corner. That is where my pen is bending, not bending, but I'm tilting it back that direction. So if you were to sh see my actual pen, the top of the pen would be facing the top left corner. And if I were to do this, the top of the pen would be facing the bottom right corner of my tablet. And that's what this is doing. It's kind of giving you an idea of where that tilt's going. So if you're using a customized brush that relies on the tilt um, option a lot, that's going to help you be like, okay, so I need to tilt it this way and get that um, look that I'm trying to go for with this particular brush. So if you don't use a pen tablet, this is going to be completely useless to you because your mouse most likely won't have that ability. But I think this is pretty cool. Alright, so the next part of the settings, I'm going to use a block of color to make it a little more easier to demonstrate what's happening. So we're going to go to settings and configure Krita. We have the while painting with an eraser options next. So we have show outline and use effective outline size already active. So I'm going to cancel this for a second. So when I erase, let me make this a little smaller, you can see that I have the outline showing still. It's that circle. But if I go and turn that off, I'm going to settings this Krita and show, I'm going to uncheck show outline and hit OK. You can still see it, but when I start erasing, that disappears. And some people are more comfortable with this. I think I kind of like this. It's kind of nice. It's less distracting. It's not like covering up my artwork without that or with the outline. All right, so I'm going back to the while painting with an eraser. So you use effective outline size. If this is off, it's not really going to show. So we're going to turn that back on. So I want to hit OK. So as you can see, the more pen pressure I put, that circle outline is getting bigger or smaller depending on the pressure. And if I go to settings, configure Krita. I turn that off it doesn't do that anymore you can see that my pressure sensitivity is still working obviously but the display outline is not changing to match the pen pressure that I'm putting into this stroke so if you're if you just want like a, a, an idea of where your stroke is going you don't really care about the visual representation of the brush size you can turn that off or you can turn them both both off and just not worry about it and then, of course, we can change the eraser outline color. I'm leaving it as it is. I don't want to mess with it, but if for whatever reason, maybe you're working on something that uses a lot of greens and you can't see your outline and you want to change it to something more vibrant like red or maybe pink or, or orange or something like that to kind of stand out against the green, that would be an option for you. If you're using something with a lot of um, blues and, again, the green maybe just gets swallowed up in what you're working on, you can change that. You know something that makes it easier for you i'm going to cancel that so that's pretty much it for the eraser settings that are new to create a five i think they're really nice i'm not sure which icon i'm going to be using yet because i went through these I'm like i don't like a lot of these and then at the same time i also like it without the outline so i have some um decisions to make all right, so that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys were able to get some new information out of it and learn something new. If you have any questions at all about the settings or anything else in Krita, let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them for you. And if you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.